everybody. Welcome to Yoga Shorts. My name is Lola. I am with the Sharon Forks Public Library, part of the Forsyth County, Georgia Public Library System. I offering you today an um, invitation to come take a break with me for just a couple of minutes, stepping away from whatever it is that has kept you busy today. Maybe it's behind the keyboard or a monitor, or maybe it is a um, laptop or an iPad or whatever it is, or maybe it's being in the kitchen um, with a lot of people around, or maybe you're just in the same place you've been for a while and need a break. Whatever it is, um, want to take a take an opportunity to step away and take a moment for yourself. Um, well, today what we'll be doing is um, doing a little bit of quick breath work, and then we will uh, move into one of my all-time favorite positions which is a reclining position, and uh, I'll show you that so you can give it a try. So let's get started. Right now I'm sitting on a really nice soft blanket on the floor. Um, you can sit on a chair or on um, the edge of the bed, whatever works for you. And um, I would say always honor your body, take care of yourself. If it doesn't feel good to you, don't do it. And always follow any medical advice that you have been given um, if you're expecting um, always go carefully with, with any exercise. So here we go. We're going to get settled. Find your seated position. Your hands can rest on your knees. Your hands can rest in your lap. And maybe move around a little bit to what, find out if, where that most comfortable spot is. And if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes. Or if you would prefer, you can let your gaze be soft towards the ground. So go ahead and get into that comfortable position to you today. Notice your body sitting on the chair or on the ground. Notice where your feet are resting. Sit nice and tall. Imagine space. You're creating space in between your vertebrae. You're sitting so nice and tall. Check in with your jaw and relax any tension there. Allow some space between the upper and lower teeth of the, of the mouth. Check in with your eyes and your forehead and your temples and send relaxation there. Calm the muscles of the face. Allow any expression on your face just to melt away. And check in with your breath. See how your breath feels today. Where do you notice it the most today? Is it your breath coming in and out of your nose? Or is it the rise and fall of your chest? So take your right hand and place it on your belly very gently. And on your next inhale, inhale nice and deep into the lungs and imagine creating space and in your belly so your hand actually moves a little bit. Not stressful, not um, overexerting yourself, just an inhale into the belly. And exhale. Inhale again into the belly. And exhale. And then one more inhale into the belly. Exhale, let that go. Let your hand come back in your lap or on your knees and slowly and gently open your eyes. Take a moment just to notice any difference that your body feels, having just taken a couple of focused breaths. And just in case you, you hear it, I'll let you know, I think the dog is snoring. She's right next to me. So if you hear a funny noise, that might be what it is. So the um, posture that I wanted to tell you about, which is my favorite posture almost in the whole world, um, it is commonly called legs up the wall. Today we won't be putting our legs up a wall, but what we'll be doing is using this sofa. And what you do is you move your seat and your hips quite close to the sofa, and then swing your feet up on the sofa. So. What you're looking for is something that your legs can be at about 90 degrees. You can use a, a sofa, a chair, an ottoman, um, a 
bed if it's not too high. Um, you want to be able to swing your legs up, so that's what we'll do. I'm going to swing my legs up on the sofa, scooching myself in close to the sofa, and adjusting this blanket to make sure it is up under my head. And lay down in this wonderful position with your legs supported. Your arms can be out by your side. Your hands, palms up. And take a couple of nice breaths. Notice how the front of the body opens up a little bit. Even more than if you're laying on the bed. The nice firm surface of the floor it supports your body and you're able to lie maybe a little more flat than you would even on your own bed. Allow your feet to rest and relax up on the sofa or the chair. And try to take a couple minutes here, uh, if you can, just to relax. I have actually fallen asleep in this very position before. <laughs> and notice your breath flowing in and out. And when you're ready to come out of this position, and you're welcome to stay in it today if you like, bend your knees and roll over onto your side. Let your hands and arms support your head for just a moment. And let um, your body settle back into the idea that you're going to be sitting upright again. And use your hands to push, you, push yourself back up into an upright position. And back on the blanket, in my case, sitting nice and tall. So that's the position I wanted to show to you today. Um, give it a try. Um, try it maybe before bed one night. You could even lay down right beside your bed if the bed's not too tall. Um, or you can try it while you're watching television. I've done that as well. Um, putting my legs up on the sofa and watching the television for a couple minutes. Um, you can be pretty creative about where you want to do this. But give it a try. Give it a couple tries. See what you think. If you want to try the full um, posture of the legs up the wall, you'll sit close to the wall just like we sat close to the sofa, you'll swing your legs up on the wall and um, allow the hips to be close to as close to the wall as they can comfortably. You may need to move them away at first, depending on how tight the back of your legs are. You can bend your legs if you have your um, legs up the wall. Um, put your feet on the wall. Just make sure your feet are pretty clean when you put your feet up on the wall. Uh, but yeah, give it a try. The legs up the wall pose is one that I have done even next to the kitchen, I'll set the kitchen timer, something's cooking um, in the oven or whatever, and I will take my quick legs up the wall pose, and I've had family members step over me, dogs step over me, and um, Jesse always comes and checks on me when I lay down on my back with my feet up on the wall just to make sure that my health is still good. So that's all for us today. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I hope you'll come back next time and we'll try something a little bit different each time. Take care of yourself um, these next days and um, check in on your neighbors, your friends. Um, try to be nice to yourself as well as people around you. And wash your hands. So until I see you next time, best of you. Take care. Bye-bye.